If you're using Affinity Photo to create t-shirt graphics, there's a great time saver in the form of presets. So I'm gonna show you how to use that. We're gonna to go to File and New. And then from here, I've got these little tabs here at the top of the new document. Print just gives me basic print options. I have Photo, Press Ready, a bunch of different stuff. I'm gonna go into My Presets. What I'm gonna do here is select page width 4,500 and page height 5,400 pixels. That's the size of a standard Merch by Amazon t-shirt design. My DPI is going to be 300. That's my dots per inch. That's my resolution. And then I've also got an option here to select orientation, either landscape or portrait. I'm going to select portrait. Now from here, if I want to select a, my preset, if I want to make one that's going to be sitting there forever, I can click the custom button and I can click the plus button. And from here, that's going to create this little thumbnail. I can right click it and I can rename it and I can call it Merch by Amazon. And I'll click OK. So now I've got this set up. So every time I want to create a new Merch by Amazon design, I can simply click that, click Create, and now I'm off to the races. I can start designing. I'm going to go File Close, and I'm going to do one now for Display. I'm going to go File New. And we can see my Merch by Amazon pops up, but I'm going to select a different one here. So what I'm going to do now is select my page width. I'm going to select 2900. My page height is going to be 4060. DPI again, portrait, and in this case, I'm gonna click the plus button. That's gonna create another thumbnail. I'm gonna right click it. I'm going to click rename, and I'm going to type in display portrait. I'll do one more. I'm just gonna simply select now orientation is now landscape. I'm gonna select the plus button. That's gonna give me another one, but you'll see now the pixels are actually reversed. This one, I'm going to rename display landscape. So now, when I go in and I select File New, I've actually got three options. If I wanted to select Display Portrait, I just simply click Create, and now I've got the exact right dimensions in order to create my display. Hope you found this helpful. Very easy way that you can set up some really good templates and save yourself some time in the long run. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your graphic design skills in Affinity Photo. Thanks a lot for watching.